Ticks are a type of external parasite that feeds on blood. Currently, there are identified about 850 species and are carriers of a wide variety of diseases that can be transmitted to many mammals, including humans. The life cycle of ticks can be divided into four well-defined stages. The egg, the larva, the nymph, and the adult form. No matter what stage they are in, ticks can transmit different diseases to dogs. The female of this parasite can lay between 2,000 and 20,000 eggs in the earth and then die, thus starting the cycle again. Dogs need a lot of care and attention to have a good life. One of the most common situations that occurs when caring for a dog is to protect them from the presence of ticks, in addition to having to face all the complications that its appearance causes to the health of our pets. Watch this video till the end as we discuss with you different types of ticks in dogs and how to combat this annoying parasite, thus ensuring the well-being of our beloved pets. Amblyoma. It is a large tick that can be found mainly in America and Africa. It has eight legs and has a burgundy color. On its back, it can present different drawings in a lighter shade than the rest of its body. Its life cycle begins when an adult descends from a host to lay eggs on land. From the eggs will be born larvae that will settle in a new host. These in turn, after feeding will descend again to become nymphs, which will take a new host and eventually go down to land to become ticks. Bufilus. Males of this species measure between 3 to 4 millimeters, while females can measure between 10 to 12 millimeters. The appearance of this tick is similar to a black bean with betas in white, yellow, or honey. Only one host inhabits during its life cycle, starting as larvae, which eventually develop into ticks that will continue to feed on the same host until they lay more eggs. Dermacenter. They are characterized by presenting drawings on their loins. They can be found worldwide, and the male of this species measure between 3 to 4 millimeters while females can measure between 10 to 12 millimeters. During its life cycle, this species of tick passes through three hosts, starting when an adult dilated by the consumption of blood descends to the earth to lay eggs. From the eggs will hatch larvae that will search for and nest in a new host while drawing blood. The larvae descend again once they reach sufficient maturity to become nymphs that will look for a new host until they have fed on enough blood. Once satisfied, the nymphs return to the earth to become adult ticks that will return to the same host or a different one than those previously inhabited. Ixodes. This type of tick in dogs is the most common and can be found all over the world. The female has a shape similar to a light-colored bean, while the male is smaller and has a shape similar to a flaxseed. This species of tick has the same life cycle as the dermacenter, that is, during its life it will normally pass through three different hosts while reaching its adult stage. Hemaphysalis. Ticks of this species are commonly found in Europe and Asia. They are small in size, even in their adult stage, measuring about 0.5 centimeters. Its body has the shape of a pumpkin seed, but with a tone ranging from brown to reddish. This tick also passes through three hosts during its life cycle, but this can be interrupted depending on the climate of the region where they live. They can produce up to two generations of larvae in the same year in hot climates, but only one generation when subjected to cold climates. Hyaloma. These types of ticks have a medium size and can be located in Europe and Asia. These ticks have fairly prominent mouth parts. The life cycle of this species, similar to the previous ones, goes through three hosts during its development, but they can also reach the adult stage within one or two hosts. Ribisopolis. Ticks of this species can be found all over the world. Females can lay up to 5,000 eggs, being able to produce up to three generations when in humid climates. Like the other species, these ticks go through three hosts in their life cycle. Ticks access through the legs because they cannot fly or jump. They climb until they find a suitable place and stick to their hosts to feed on their blood. Normally, they are installed in areas such as the ears, eyes, nape of the neck, neck, or toes. 
and its greatest activity is present, above all, from spring to autumn, with high temperatures and humidity. The most important step to combat the ticks is prevention. Removing ticks from a dog is one of the situations that most worries, especially to those people who have to live with it since they can also be affected. Well, in addition to harming pets, they also transmit diseases and can affect other dogs. Ticks should be removed as soon as possible and carefully. The longer they stay on, the more likely they are to cause illness. One of the ways is to use tweezers to detach them from the scalp of animals. However, there are also some home remedies that help remove ticks from dogs. If this video was beneficial to you, please like and subscribe for more videos like this, and we'll see you next time.